Olivia's master thesis was on urban legends and their origins. She believed they shared similarities with traditional folklore and picked one to illustrate her point. The unknown was believed to be a mysterious evil so heinous that investigating it almost immediately invited death. At least, that was how the story went. And there were many stories. One story was of a woman in Greenville who disappeared without a trace. On stage in front of a room full of witnesses. Her friend disappeared weeks later while trying to investigate what happened. The police were stumped. They had no clues or leads, and that mystery created the perfect storm for amplifying and spreading an urban legend. She drove to the second cheapest motel in town and began to sit up in a small room that smelled of cigarette smoke, mold, and booze. She turned one wall into a kind of evidence board. She taped up articles and various theories on similar disappearances attributed to the unknown throughout the country. She made connections with red string and yellow thumbtacks. Anyone walking into the motel room would think that she had lost her mind. There were many theories as to the unknown's origin. Some said it was a malevolent entity conjured long ago by an ancient cult. Others believed it to be an alien that escaped from Area 51. Legend was it thrived in darkness and stole the voices of those it consumed so as to lure others to their doom. The first newspaper articles Olivia found referenced a disappearance at a seance held in the 1800s. In the late 1950s, several college students mysteriously disappeared from a movie theater. Witnesses saw them go inside. Some remembered seeing them in their seats. But when the lights came up, they were gone. No one saw them leave. No trace of them was ever found. A projectionist claimed to have heard voices in the empty darkness of the theater later that night. But when he turned on the lights, no one was there. Then, in the late 1960s, a group of teens disappeared while exploring an abandoned hospital believed to be haunted. Stories and speculation arose to explain these mystifying disappearances. Some talked about a top-secret government research program run by the Office of Strategic Services in the 1950s. Project Apple Pie. Mind control experiments using hallucinogenic drugs. Most of the records were destroyed in the 70s. But witnesses claim that experiments were performed on unsuspecting civilians in various settings and locations throughout the country, including movie theaters, hospitals, and universities. Many believed these unethical experiments opened doorways to other dimensions, which allowed evil things to enter the world. Olivia wrote observations to pin to her evidence board. The unknown dwells in darkness and can mimic its victims. Was it an evil entity? An extraterrestrial? A failed government experiment? Or just a garden variety serial killer allergic to publicity? She wanted to prove the unknown was nothing more than a modern day folklore. And that investigation led here to this night, to this place, to this shabby motel room. Yet, she couldn't help but notice that the disappearances in Greenville included one detail the other stories didn't. The fog. And she half remembered another urban legend with a thick, unnatural fog that somehow made people disappear. Maybe, she mused, the Greenville disappearances didn't relate to the unknown, but some other darkness. For a moment... Olivia wondered what would happen if one urban legend encountered another. She laughed at the idea and tempted fate by sketching a picture of what she thought the unknown might look like. Then she pinned the sketch right in the middle of her evidence board, laughed nervously and waited to be consumed by the unknown for having tried to define it. Anxiously, she stared at the windows and the front door for seconds that turned into minutes and minutes that turned into hours. But nothing happened. 
Now, it was 2 a.m., and Olivia was exhausted as she examined the articles and sipped cold coffee. So when she first heard the whisper, she wondered if she imagined it. Olivia. It seemed to come from the bathroom. Help. The lights in the room flickered. Who's there? Olivia stared with wide eyes at the closed door of the bathroom. Her mind was playing tricks on her, or... Her friends had shown up to prank her. Ariella? Sean? Stop messing around. The lights continued to flicker as she edged closer to the bathroom. Fear spread in long waves through her, and a terrible realization bloomed within her that the unknown was behind the bathroom door, was preparing to make her pay for her hubris. Something began to whisper her name again, but then the voice rose, cracked, and distorted in sudden panic as if the brooding creature behind the door were under attack. An unknown horror filled Olivia's heart and left room for nothing else. She breathed deeply as cold sweat beaded on her forehead. She placed her hand on the doorknob. The lights turned off, but she could still hear the strangely inhuman cries. Then, the lights turned back on, and she could see a strange black fog seeping through the bottom of the door. Hesitantly, Olivia creaked the door open to see a bulky shape with frenzied tentacles being pulled into a thick mass of fog, vanishing slowly into the darkness like a dying shadow. The shrieking stopped suddenly. Neighbors banged on the wall to turn down the TV, and Olivia stared intently at the black abyss that yawned before her. She wasn't sure what to do. Part of her wanted to run, but the other part wanted to know more. And as she considered what to do next, dozens of voices began to call out to her with promises of the unknown, the impossible, and of unearthly things beyond human experience. Welcome homies, my name is Pigeon Chest, and that is the lore for the unknown. I absolutely love the look of this killer. I love his lore. He's doing a great job being on top of, like, the scary list. First, we're going to look at the killer's power real quick, and we're just going to hop into a game without any experience and see how it plays. UVX. Some believed a specimen was recovered by the military for their experiments. The code name: Unknown Venom X. Press the power button to charge UVX. Once ready... Press the attack button to launch UVX, a bouncing projectile which creates a blast area upon impact. Survivors become hindered if touched by UVX while airborne. Survivors touching the blast area become weakened. Weakened survivors lose health states if touched by blast areas. Survivors lose weakened by successfully staring down the unknown. Special Ability Hallucinations the unknown will intermittently create hallucinations. Hallucinations cannot be created while charging UVX, performing interactions, or in proximity to map objects like hooks. When survivors are touched by blast areas or otherwise become weakened, the next hallucination spawn time decreases by 10 seconds. The unknown can teleport to hallucinations, leaving behind a temporary decoy. Survivors can remove hallucinations from the trial with the Dispel ability. Weakened survivors take longer to dispel. If dispel is not completed, survivors become weakened and trigger killer instinct. Request for analysis redacted. Incident redacted. Awaiting approval. Excerpt from Leaked OSS Report. We will be bringing an Ebony Memento Mori to hopefully see what that juicy Mori looks like, and no perks or add-ons to see what his base kit is. We'll take a look at his add-ons and his perks in just a minute.
Greenville Square on the Withered Isle. Ooh, I like this. My wife already has a wonderful name for this guy. She calls him Clarence. Oh, yummy. All right. Want some candy? This is the worst fucking palette I've ever seen in my life. Oh wow, that teleports fast, I like that. I like every inch of that. got some floating candy machines. I like it. This map is a W. Oh yeah. There we go. I really want to see this Mori. So the, so the hallucinations are permanent? They just stay there? So based on where they set up... Oh! Hello? Hello! Oh, we're going to the theater. Oh, the lob shot. Oh my god, the lob shot. It's fucking with me. You can just fuck off as soon as you want. 
Oh yeah, I miss. Every day of the week I miss. I really like that. This guy's gonna be super strong with Jolt. Or Surge, rather. I think it's called Surge now. Again. And now I'm in shack. Oh, how lovely. A double pallet? That's why this is so weak. That explains a lot now. That explains a hell of a lot. Okay, so I can see when he's going to place a teleport. And he places it where he's standing. Oh, fuck. That's completely my fault. Get over here, Claudette. Oh yeah, let's look at this Mori. Uh-oh. I want better lighting for that. Also, we teleport like five years into the future. Oh, fuck, I missed. That lob shot is so weird. I'm gonna make sure the next one is nice and in the middle of nowhere. Big promise. No? Okay. Going back to the gen. No? Oh, that teleport is juicy! I love that teleport. Where's my meter for being able to teleport back?
Yes, sir, get hindered. Okay, let's get this Mori in a nice, open, bright spot. Here we go. Damn, still partially. Oh! 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 Yum. Oh yeah. I'm learning the shape of the map. Oh my goodness, gravy. There we go. Perfect sight. I see. Very cool. Very cool. I love this killer. This guy just feels so cool. I wonder what this looks like with his protuberance. Which comes out of his tummy gap. Holy hell. He's gonna be so strong with perks. There's definitely gonna be well-organized teams that are gonna be able to counter him. Oh, he's so twitchy. We'll check out Sable Ward. Sable Ward. She's not afraid to embrace the darkness or the power that lies within it. Her personal perks, Invocation, Weaving Spiders, Strength in Shadows, and Wicked, allows her to quicken repair progress, heal herself without a medkit, and gain benefits from some status effects. Well, that's interesting. Invocation, along with Plot Twist, uh, No Mither, and maybe Flip Flop, or even Boil Over, uh, could really be an actual strong build. For once, I'm thinking about No Mither in a positive light, I instead of a meme, which is actually wild. Wait, I can teleport out the map with that, guaranteed. I'm going rooms. My wife and I are just talking about um, the fact that that, Mel that Mori teleports you like 30 feet forwards. You could, uh, you could definitely get outside the map with that. Oh god, there he is. Horrifying little man. You know, he's a lot of things. Little is not one of them. Oh, he looks unsettling. <laughs> I'm going to be playing another game with his perks. And then I'm going to be playing another game with her perks. But holy shit, he looks unsettling when walking. It's like he's trying to do high knees, but he doesn't have knees.
Oh, so you can damage people to the floor with it. I was not trying to do that. Okay, that's great to know. They're performing a seance. It has to happen in a basement. This guy with undetectable is going to be horrifying. Oh, yeah. That's my fault. That's completely my fault. I walked into that. He has to... He happens to have undetectable now. Wow. So the lob shot is like really good. I gotta I gotta remember that. Man's little dumpy walk. Wait, since it gains since it gains percentage on each generator, does that mean that the 5% anti-regression happens so you can stop any generator from regressing from a séance? Wild if so. That's absolutely wild. I want to see what his hallucinations look like. Because I know they just flop on the ground when he's not ready to use them. He's got something for me. No, he's Chucky. Oh, he teleported. Okay. I'm excited to try out some builds on this guy. Got any James on your phone? I assume he either knows someone named James or is named James. I'll get you in a second, my guy. I want to get this gen. Oh my god, that undetectable is fucked up.
It's a better Trail of Torment. How are you going to make a better Trail of Torment? Nope. You don't get me, my guy? Oh yeah, that's... That's awesome. Oh fuck. That prediction though. Very nice job on his part. He seems really strong. There it is. Foot! 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 Floating tentacles and feet! Man made me sniff his feet! What the hell? Man made me sniff his feet! Yup. That teleport happens fast. That is horrifying. Actual pure terror. See, I thought I could just get an injury state with that bubble when I first was playing with it, but now I, I can. You can get downs with that. Oh boy! Don't mind if I diddly diddly do. You just got to get good with the lobbing effect. All right. James on your phone is, uh... And then we have Alan Chad. And we've got this little fucking goober. Get on the gen, you goober. Good. He's coming for you, Alan. Ooh, and a W live. Yes, sir. Oh, maybe not a W uh, bonk. Yeah, maybe maybe you could have just held W. Average result of not holding W. Yeah. He can charge that up while in midair. Bro's a rat. Bro is a rat. Oh my god, this guy is a complete rat. Oh, you used your sprint burst there, huh? She dies while they escape. Oh, he must only have a green Mori, huh?
No, he had a red. You know that smell good. Oh, <laughs> uh, just reminds me of uh, Spooky Loops when he said, I tuck a toe for a flashlight, bro. Hmm, not really seeing too much of a difference here, but uh, okay. Okay, so let's take a look at his add-ons. Captured by the Dark. Survivors begin the trial weakened. Decreases the maximum number of hallucinations that can spawn by one. Okay, that seems pretty mid. I don't know if that's de genuinely worth being a red, but okay. Maybe that should be purple. Or green. And you, uh, you know, look at something else. Decreases teleport cooldown by 5 seconds. The decoy left behind after the unknown teleports takes 10 seconds longer to disappear. When created, the decoy has the same terror radius and red stain as the unknown. That looks like a red add-on. That. That is a red add-on right there. Discarded milk carton. Doubles the UVX projectile's bounce strength. Survivors who dispel hallucinations suffer from the blindness status effect for 45. Triggers for 20 seconds following a teleport, increases the action speed for breaking downed pallets, breakable walls, damaging generators, and vaulting windows by 30%. Survivors within hallucinations or a range suffer from the exhausted status effect for 10 seconds. That's really good. Survivors damaged by UVX's blast area suffer from the broken status effect for 30 seconds. Decreases the time until next hallucination spawns by 15 seconds when a survivor becomes weakened. That is really strong for a... F it's already 10 seconds. That's... that's 150% extra for a total of 25 seconds. That is wild. Performing the break interaction on a pallet or breakable wall decreases the time until the next hallucination spawns by 50%. Survivors hit by UVX while it is airborne suffer from the exhausted status effect for 10 seconds. Survivors who complete generators become weakened against UVX. Survivors entering the aura range of a hallucination suffer from the oblivious status effect. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for a yellow. Hell yeah. Exhausted and oblivious would be really good. Decreases your hallucinations aura range that is visible to survivors by 25%. Survivors hit by UVX while it is airborne suffer from the hindered status effect for 5 seconds. UVX triggers a blast area upon contact with hallucinations. Hallucinations can be destroyed by UVX. Doing so decreases the time until the next hallucination spawns by 75%. Wow. This is actually going to be one of his best add-ons, basically just because he can now choose where his teleports are going to be. He can go destroy one that's slightly in a bad spot and put it in, like, the perfect spot. When a survivor successfully stares down the unknown, the unknown gains killer instinct for three seconds. That's not bad. That's pretty mid. After teleporting, regain your full movement speed 50% faster. So just cut down the uh, wait time by 50%. I don't know how long it lasts. We'll have to see using some math, but Jesus. I can probably put that on screen right now, that the original time for you to receive your normal speed is this, based on what I see, and 50% would be this number. Survivors who are both weakened and injured suffer from the deep wound status effect when they dispel a hallucination. Ooh, that's pretty good. Blood pools appear bright red when charging UVX. Survivors injured by UVX suffer from the hemorrhage status effect for 30 seconds. That's, that's really good, actually. Survivors hit by UVX's blast area suffer from the oblivious status effect for 20 seconds. Really? What the hell? That's really good for a brown. Mind games for 20 seconds? Just cause you hit them. Uh-huh, that's... That's fucking wild. And the build that I think would be best with him would definitely be Unforeseen, Hex Face the Darkness, Friends Till the End, and the last one, honestly, up for grabs. I was thinking of something speed-related, which I think Unbound would be really nice. This killer was definitely worth making my voice soar over. That's for sure. 
Ah, beautiful. Another Greenville Square. The map's pretty big. And it has an inside portion. Okay, fair. Yeah. There we go. That is so nice. Hello, my man. Yup, that's the oblivious status effect from the brown add-on. That should be yellow, if not green. Yes, sir. There we go. There you are, my man. There you are, my man. Yes, sir. Oh, beautiful. This person wants to chase now. What? There we go. Okay, we're gonna go trade. We're gonna go for a nice trade. Shit. Missed. Oh. There we go. Gotcha. Beautiful. Hit that teleport, yoinky shploinky. <laughs> Friends till the end, my guy. There we go. Now I'm undetectable for 30 seconds. There we go. Hi there. Put you nice and out in the open. Oh, yes. Gotcha. 
Exactly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so can they dispel it before I can throw off another bubble? My bad. Can you, can you like vault? I want to see the grab. I know. Vault. Vault, I want to see the grab. No. Slow vault. What? Try this again. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get her on the hook. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get her on the hook. Let's get you on the hook. Oh! There we go. Good stuff. Yep, yep. With a second me watching. Yay, second me. That's cool. I like that. Yes, sir. Okay, and now I'm teleporting outside the map. Watch this. Oh, you can't teleport outside the map. <laughs> but I can teleport them outside the map. I put her all the way over in that bush. <laughs> that is so weird and jank. I thought I could teleport outside the map with that. Oh, that's fun. Oh, 
and he has a cool animation too. God damn, that is fun. Now that I understand his kit a little bit better, he is a lot stronger than I originally thought. That red add-on and that brown add-on pair together beautifully. It is just 10 seconds of pure lies. They think that you're just standing still, and you could be. But no, you've teleported already. This iridescent add-on allows you to pretend that you did not move anywhere. This also allows you to just lie to them. Absolutely insane. All right, now I'm gonna play with just his three perks. Unforeseen, Unbound, and Undone. And my editing today will be unending. This recording's already an hour and four minutes. All right, Clarence. Can you help me find a match? Can you turn your head around? Look for some? No? What if I say I'll give you a cookie? Oh, that piqued your interest. What if I said that that cookie would be covered with popcorn made of moviegoers? No? Oh. Hmm. What if it had gumdrops on it? And popcorn? And some licorice? Oh, he likes candy! Good to know. Yes, he is a candy man. Clarence likes his candy. All right, and for the last game of the day, I will be using his three natural perks, Unforeseen, for 30 seconds of undetectable and kicking a generator, Unbound, for 5% haste for 10 seconds after hitting a survivor and then vaulting within 30 seconds, and Undone, where I get 1% total regression and 1% blocked for a generator if somebody misses skill checks per token, where I will gain three tokens if somebody misses a skill check of any type. Beautiful. Gotta love getting this map over and over. No way you're just gonna give me three free skill checks. Yup, thank you. Oh, shit. Bounce. Oh my god, it follows the fucking... There we go. I gotta get better at that. For sure. We've already got a Giener Schmetor. Let's see here. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, Meg moment. Unless a save. A juicy save. Ooh, so close, but no smogokers. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh! Raised off the ground a little bit. Good for her. Good for her. Nothing. Damn. 
That's a convenient teleport, though. So is this. Don't touch my clogs. Yup. Meg moment. Have you seen my dog? Can you help me, please? Please? Can you please? See, the yellow add-on to remove his things would be so good right now. I got her. Oh yeah, fair enough. That double hit, though. There we go. I love how you can just get across the map. Bro, disconnecting against the new killer after your first hook. Baby material. I'll just get rid of the robot. Disconnecting against the newest killer. Your mom better have called you over for some Tostitos. Nice. I know this is wholly unnecessary to try and go for that sort of down, but I wanted it. I just wanted it. Is 
This double pallet is so weird. Let's get her... Where do we want this? Let's go to the cinema. Let's go watch a movie. Let's go to the cinema for this. Hmm. Right here on the... Yes, yeah, sir. Wait, wait, wait. If I, if I pick her up right here, I'm going to put her down right here. And then I'm going to come out of this room. Yes, it was perfect. Shit, missed. This person's pretty good. Ooh, very good. Damn, I was trying to get her through the wall. Yep. Get the robot. Get the aerobics robot. All right, let's get this robot. In a nice, very lit open area. Okay, I want it to be right about here. No! Too much grass. Damn it. I'll get better at this, Mori. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna feel your face with this. Don't mind me. Wait, wait, wait. I can I can find this killer can grab people's asses. I love how you can get rid of his teleports, too. This is super fair, super nice. All right, Where, where's the hatch? He looks so sad and saggy. Good to know, okay, wonderful. Can I get up there? Oh my god, there's an arcade. I love this. This is adorable. This map is so nice. 
Oh. Oh, I'm get I'm getting a fucking drink. She's getting a beverage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll take that. I'm bad at that game. All right, let's see here. Whales, the sinking ones, the sinking ones, his body. Okay. I see. We got some snacks. We got some... Look at that. Yeah. There's a hiding poster. It's Murder Mill. We got Rotten Woods. Oh, we got coffee. Yeah, it's coffee. I like this place. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Let's go get you this hatch. Let's go get you this hatch. This place is absolutely lovely. Oh, hey, there's a dumpster. Yeah. There's a dumpster all the way up there. This map is so cute, sweetie. We've got a lovely little movie theater. We even have a game fucking room. Super nice. We've got the smallest parking lot for, an, for a theater that you've ever seen. Hmm. What we got here? We got pizza! Yes, yeah, sir! We got pizza! <laughs> Give me pizza! P-I-Z-Z-A We got a machine all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, here, go. Yes, sir. That's his kicking animation. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you wanna see do you wanna see his grab? Blights. I think that's Blights grab. Sable. Hey, look, it's you. Look, it's your name. Sable. Michaela and Sable? Our friends. Yes. Kayla and Sable. Yeah. That's incredible. Even my buddy's here. else interesting over here it seems we got a few candy machines <gasps> I hit it 
Yes! Yes! What an absolutely wonderful last game. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. This person went to the cinema with me. We had a date. We played games. We got beverages together. We even shook hands. All right. That is going to have to be it for me today. I enjoyed this killer so goddamn much. It's not at all what I thought it would be. I thought he was going to be something where he's going to leave, you know, behind fake people, or he was going to turn himself into a fake person. And uh, I really like what they've done here. This does feel a little bit like a fake out with the original teaser. The very first one where they said that this guy sort of looked like the other person. Anyway, I like this a lot more than what I was thinking of. I can't wait to see the skins. I assume we're going to get a bunch of skins for just all his victims. That's been it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Do the exact opposite if you did not enjoy. Please leave a comment letting me know what you thought, whether it's good or bad. I do want to hear it. And regardless, treat yourself right because you deserve it. Toodles.